Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electricity and magnetism. And so far we have discussed uh, various concepts related to electric field and electric potential. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the electric field intensity due to a continuous charge distribution. Okay. So we already uh, we have discussed about Coulomb's law and uh, about the Coulombic force exerted by a group of charge or a isolated charge or a, a number of point charges located at different uh, points and how they produce the electric field which is dependent on the Coulombic force and uh, the electric field is this. The Coulombic force divided by the value of the discharge itself. So this is the expression, the general expression of electric field in terms of Coulomb's law, okay, where k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, okay. But in practical situations, we have to deal with charge which is distributed and bodies it can be in one dimension it can be in uh, two dimension or it can be in three dimension okay along a line which is in one dimension over a surface in uh, two dimension or over a volume in three dimension so this video is about the electric field intensity due to a continuous charge distribution which is distributed over a line over a surface or over a volume so linear charge distribution for this let us say that in this case we have a length a body of length l okay and charge is distributed uniformly along this line this uh, length l okay so this total length is l let's say this sorry okay this is the length the total length and uh, the total charge which is distributed over this length is let's say Q okay total charge is Q and the charge distribution the charge density over this material let us say with it is represented by lambda so the charge uh, density, which is also called as the linear charge density, it is in this form, coulombs per meter. Or in this form also you can write coulomb per meter. Where lambda is the linear charge density. This. This is in one dimension only the length is considered so in general the electric field in this case it is expressed as normally the electric field is uh, expressed as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the charge or the source charge let's say it is represented by capital Q and the test charge okay then R square R cap this is the general expression but in this case the expression will be modified as this charge electric field density due to a charge distribution it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 and uh, sorry this is uh, in this case the this is the Coulombic force and uh, the source charge will not be there okay sorry uh, by mistake I have uh, this this portion will not be there only Q okay so only Q will be there in this case only the source charge that is the columbic force expression okay only the source charge will be there this and in this case it will be the expression will be modified as D 
t q by r square r cap okay and in this case this integration of dq is the total charge over the body be it in straight line in linear charge distribution or over a surface for surface charge distribution or over a volume in volume charge distribution so this dq in this case is lambda dl in this case in linear charge distribution it is lambda dl so here we have considered a small length over this total length we have taken a small length and the amount of charge present in this small length let's say it is dq so in order to get the total charge q we just integrate it over this length this total length we integrate it so by that we will get the electric field density due to a linear charge distribution as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 over this length lambda dl by r square into r cap this 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 will be the electric field intensity due to a linear charge distribution so a simple thing we have a body an object of length l where total charge q is uniformly distributed over this length l we first took a small length a small portion of this body of length dl and assume that charge dq is present in this small length so in general we have the electric field intensity expression like this where q is the source charge so here the source charge capital q is expressed as integration of dq over this total length so dq is represented as lambda dl where lambda is the linear charge density represented in units coulomb for meter so we got the electric field intensity for a linear charge distribution as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 integrated over this total length lambda dl by r square r cap this okay so we just substituted the source charge capital value with this so this is for linear charge distribution then we have a surface charge distribution electric field density due to a surface charge distribution so here charge to the total charge q okay the total charge q is uniformly distributed over this area so this is two dimension okay two dimension the charge is uniformly distributed over this entire area and we just took a small area ds and in this small area ds the charge which is present is dq this surface or area has a surface charge density of sigma which is expressed as coulomb for per meter square coulomb per meter square or this which is called as the surface charge density So here also we will write the electric field intensity as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the source charge by r square r cap. So here the source charge we will integrate dq to get the total charge q over this whole area or surface okay so dq is sigma ds okay dq is sigma ds for the small charge okay for the small charge for the small area for the small area for a small charge dq present that is expressed as sigma ds so in order to integrate dq over this entire area or surface s the electric field will be expressed for a surface charge 
distribution as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 integrated over the surface sigma ds r square r cap okay where the source charge q is substituted with integration of sigma ds okay this because we want the total charge q the total charge q is integration of dq which is integration of sigma ds this so this is the expression for electric field intensity due to a surface charge distribution okay so this is the surface charge distribution where the total charge is uniformly distributed over a two dimensional surface or area with surface charge density sigma with units coulomb per meter square so in order to evaluate the electric field intensity we just substituted the values in the original expression where the source charge the total charge was given by integration of sigma ds over this area or surface s okay surface area s now we have the volume charge distribution so this is a volume charge distribution where the total charge q is uniformly distributed over this total volume v okay and the volume charge density it is expressed as rho with units coulomb per meter cube or it can be expressed as this so here we picked a small volume dv okay from this whole total volume and this small volume dv it contains charge dq okay it contains charge dq so the total charge q will be integration of dq over this total volume v and this is equal to rho dv this rho dv so here the electric field intensity due to this volume charge distribution will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 integration volume integration rho dv by r square and this is r cap this this is the volume charge distribution the electric field intensity due to the volume charge distribution okay this so here we have discussed the electric field intensity due to a linear charge distribution okay then where the charge is distributed over a straight line an object of a straight line then the surface charge distribution the electric field intensity due to that where charge is uniformly distributed over a surface area and then in volume charge distribution where the charge is distributed over a volume okay so these are the expressions electric field intensity due to volume charge distribution then electric field intensity due to surface charge distribution and electric field intensity due to linear charge distribution so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much